Hi everyone, welcome back to Yellow Cottage Soapery. Today I am making a Christmas soap and it will be scented with mistletoe and ivy fragrance. And if you follow me on my Instagram or my Facebook, you will, the other day I posted this humongous box of micas and glitters that was sent to me by Nurture Soap. There's like 117 bottles, containers, whatever you want to call them, this size in there i was so i was like opening a christmas present i was so excited about it and it was so hard for me to choose what to use today but i'm going to use my red obsession for the red in it i'm using traditional christmas colors i have a savage garden which is this kind of darker green and i have alpine green which is a little lighter i may mix the two because i want a darker green and then I also have this Enchantment, which is this pretty lighter green. Now this fragrance is supposed to behave, so I'm hoping that it does. I will plan, um, I did plan to do a little bit of piping on the top. So right now I am gonna strain my lye solution. It does have a little lye lint in it. I mixed it up two days ago. And so when somebody in the comments, when I was talking about having lye lint, was telling me, had mentioned that the water evaporates when you leave it sitting for a few days, and therefore the, uh, you, you can get my lint. And I was like, well, that makes perfect sense. I'm just gonna try to get this little bit out that's in the, because you really need all the lye that you put in here. Okay, so now I'm just going to smash it up so that any of the bigger pieces will not end up in my soap batter. This fragrance smells lovely. I love it. I've never used it before. It's really pretty. Okay, we're going to call that good. And let's blend.
about 30 minutes, maybe 45 minutes for this to set up. So if you need a slow moving fragrance Christmas scent, this one is wonderful. It's from Nature's Garden. I put the dark green in with a Wilt in 4B. So it looks like this. I also have a leaf tip three, I can't remember, it's, yeah, 352, it's the little one with the alligator mouth. And then the red is just in a piping bag with a Wilt in 10, so it's just a round tip. So my plan is to just do dollops with the dark green, and then I'm gonna add in just a little bit of, of the lighter green like leaves, and then some red dots. I know that mistletoe is green with little white, I don't know if they're berries or what they are, but the little white, it's often confused with holly, but I still wanted to use red on the top. And I have these little sugar pearls. People always ask me what these are. You can find these in the cake decorating aisle. All they are is it's a sugar pearl. So it's gonna just fall off and disintegrate in the water. So it's not like it's um, hurting the soap or changing the soap or it's just a pretty decoration to use. Now I am a little bit liquidy. So let's see if this is gonna be too liquidy. I can hear the ducks outside my door right now. They've been coming to visit me again. And I hear them out there, so I'll go out and sometimes take them some lettuce or a little bit of bird seed or something. But yeah, they went a couple months and they never came back. I'm like, what happened? I mean, they were here, they were just around. They just never came to our patio, which is so weird. But the, the male ducks are finally, they, I always tell my husband, I'm like, they look like they have a disease because they lose their pretty green feathers that are on their head during the summer, midsummer, late summer, and they look like they have a disease. I had to look it up because I'm like, what is wrong with these ducks? And now they're, they've got their pretty green back. Um... My little babe Hoppy's out there, the one that's missing his foot. And there's one goose that is all alone. It makes me so sad. I'm just gonna kind of fill in with what I have left here. It's not really gonna matter because I'm gonna tap this down anyways, but I'm just I just want to use the rest of this. So I'm just gonna do this until it runs out. Actually, wish I had more. I could do that all over the whole thing. That might be pretty. But there's one goose who has like a broken feather and he can't fly. And so he's alone. He, he'll hang out with the ducks. Sorry if you guys can't see, I'm just literally squeezing this out to get it out of here. I don't wanna waste it. I'm going to tap it down really quick. Okay, so this obviously is a pr little prettier. I don't know. That looks really pretty. It looks like you could do it as like a shell pattern for like a, um, gosh, it looks kind of, I don't know, it looks pretty cool. So now I'm going to, if this isn't too liquidy, I'm going to just squeeze some leaves with this lighter green. So yeah, this, this goose hangs out with the ducks because he has no goose friends. They've all, they all fly and do their own goose things and he's left here and it's so sad. And normally the geese drive me nuts because all they really do is poop in the yard and they're just kind of a little bit annoying. But um, yes, yeah, so I'm like feeling so sad for this goose. You could see his broken feather hanging down and I said to my husband, can we call like you know, some place where maybe they'll come get it and rehab it. He's like, honey, if you call somebody to come get it, they're gonna put it down. And I'm like, I don't wanna do that. I just feel really bad for him. 
So we don't chase him out of the yard when he comes. He's just kind of like a duck now. I don't know what happened to him though. And I, I'm thinking is ever, will it heal? You know, will it heal on its own and he can be able to fly? I kind of wish I had waited a little longer with this green so that it looked more leafy and not as fluid, but I have other soap to make, so I can't be waiting much longer than I've already waited. I've got other things to do. So yeah, that's that. And then um, I took a picture of the five swans. You know, I, rest, or I saved two of them back at the beginning of the summer that were caught in netting out here in the pond. And they're all doing great. There's three, three of them and the mom and dad. And they come up by often. I took a picture of them yesterday because they're almost as big as their parents now. They're like, their gray feathers are turning white. You guys, I don't even really know what I'm doing. This kind of looks weird. I guess it doesn't matter. It's just going to be some color on the top. Because once I cut it, who's going to know, right? I, the reason I just decided to do this is because I had been pondering what to pipe for this soap for like two weeks. And I'm like, all right, I just need to get this soap made. It is the beginning of November and for it to be cured in time, I need to get this soap made. I got to stop screwing around. So I was like, all right, I'll just pipe this is what I'm going to do. So it might not look great. I don't know. I'm just going with it because I really don't have a choice. I got to get it made. At least it, the fragrance worked good. You guys, if you saw my beer video, my beer soap video, have you ever seen a soap seize that fast? If you haven't seen it and you want to see it, it's on my channel here. It's the last video before this one. Before, probably before this one goes up. I'm not sure which one I'll do, but it's the last one on there right now. I'm kind of laughing at this. This looks funny. This has like no rhyme or reason. But yeah, I took a picture of the swans to show how big they are and I meant to put it on my Facebook because so many of you love my duck and swan stories. It's so cute because you, you love them like I love them. But it's so funny too because Hoppy is smaller. It's smaller than the other, the other ducks. And... She is feisty, I'll tell you what. I love her, cause she's like, if I feed him something, she's not missing out. She's gonna get her share. And I see that once in a while, they'll kind of pick at her, like uh, try to get, which, you know, they'll like bite it towards them if they're trying to get their food or whatever's going on. And they really don't mess with her. They're lucky because then you know, I'd have to kick them out and stuff. But, yeah, they're really like, like, they know, you know, that she's missing a foot. And so they kind of take it easy on her. Not with each other. They go after each other. Fight and pull feathers out. This is going to be funny. You know what? I bet you the, the red little balls. I'm going to just pipe little red balls on the top, hopefully. And then put the sugar pearls, and I bet you it's going to look amazing. And if it doesn't, it's okay. Made is better than perfect. Don't know where I heard that. Yes, I do. Do it on a dime's YouTube channel. I love her channel. And she says it. She said, done is better than perfect. So that's what I'm saying right now about this soap. Okay, so I got little leaves piped all over, and I have this, I think I told you guys, the number 10, and I'm just gonna, as the best I can, because I have an unsteady hand, I'm just going to randomly just kind of place these in groups of three. Yes, I know that's not what mistletoe looks like, but you don't always have to follow the exact, fra you know, do with the fragrance. I try to because it's called mistletoe, mistletoe and ivory. I feel like, oh my gosh, I got to pipe ivy and mistletoe. And then I was like, no, I don't. I don't have to do that. So this is more for color than anything else. I might just do two in some spots. 
but like a little grouping. This might not look so bad after all. It kind of looks like wrapping paper. I just ordered some wrapping paper the other day. There is a website. I was on there looking for something else. I forget what it was. I found something I needed on there. So like tissue paper for wrapping packages for my soap customers. I wanted a certain kind of tissue paper for holiday orders. And I found what I wanted there. And then I got looking at their wrapping paper, their Christmas wrapping paper. And everything that particular day was on sale. It was like... I can't even tell you. And they're not small rolls of paper. They're nice big rolls, but it's current, if I haven't already said the name of it. And I know they put out a catalog as well, because I got a catalog when I got the order. But I've never ordered from them before. And I was glad I did. The wrapping paper came, and it was a nice, heavy-duty paper. You know, not thin, cheap paper. And cute patterns, too. This reminds me of one of the patterns. I didn't get it, but it reminds me of one of the pretty patterns that they had. I love the old-fashioned. I'm sorry, I'm so chatty today, aren't I? I've been alone all day. I have nobody to talk to. You guys are my company. But I lo I'm loving the old-fashioned style wrapping paper. I can't remember exactly what I got off the top of my head. I got a few different rolls, but they're like very country. One of them, I remember, has red barn on it, decorated for, it's like decorated for Christmas, you know, it has snow, and it was just so pretty, and it, my grandparents next that lived next door to us had a big red barn, so I got that one. It's just, it's beautiful paper, so yeah, it's current, if anybody wants to know. I think it's spelled C-U-R-R-A-N-T. I don't know. I'm not affiliated with them or anything, but I just thought I'd share that with you. They had great prices on their, like, little, I even got this little camper salt and pepper shaker. They're like little mini RVs. And I got those because my husband and I, when we retire, our plan is to travel in an RV and drive all over the country and visit places that we want to go to. We want to go to all the NFL stadiums, national parks, oh, so many places. So I was like, I'm getting these little things, these little salt and pepper shakers. But yeah, um, on a different note, I will leave the link in the, in the description box below for Nurture Soap for their website. So if you're interested in ordering any of their micas, you can even get the whole set that I got. You can get 117 micas and glitters, sample size. But they're, I was expecting like little packets, but they're in the little little containers I showed you, so it's a decent amount. But I will leave a link. Yes, I get a little percentage of the sale back. Every little bit helps, honestly. Like, I don't make a bunch of money at all doing these videos. It's way too time consuming for what I get back from it, so. When I found out I could do this affiliate link, I'm like, I'm going to do this. Even if it's just a small amount of money, it's okay. So if you're going to place an order with them and you'd like to follow my link, I get a little bit. And it's very sweet of you, and I would appreciate it. I don't want to do too much red. I think I'm kind of starting to do too much red. I get carried away. All right, do you guys see any place that's looking bare? I know you can't tell me, but well, maybe I can do a little after this. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to just empty some of these sugar pearls into my little cup. And I have some tweezers. And I'm, I'm doing it this way because I know if I try to drop them, they're just going to go wherever they feel like. Um, I'm trying to think. Okay, I'll just do them probably in groups of three. Because I say you should do things in odd numbers, like when you're doing things. Odd numbers are more appealing to the eye than even. So, get up there. Okay. This might take a minute, so I'll probably fast forward through this. I won't make you guys watch this tediousness I got going on.
to cut mistletoe and ivy. It is still a little bit soft. I'm not sure why, but we're going to cut it anyway. I did cut the first loaf, and I had to show you guys that the swirl. Isn't it so pretty? I love that red. I thought that was the prettiest swirl. So that was the end loaf. So I'm going to do the middle loaf now. I just went and got a facial. I just got home from getting a facial. I've never had a facial in my life. I'm 44 years old. And I went to get my hair trimmed the other day and I got talking to the esthetician and I'm like, she's like, you've never had a facial? I said, no, I've never had a facial. And so I scheduled an appointment and I went and it was so nice. And I, the esthetician and I got along we just chatted the whole time. It was such a nice, soothing environment. I love that swirl. That red really pops, doesn't it? And I like how the colors stay separate. Like you can see the light green, dark green, and red. It's not muddy together. If you swirl it too much, you're going to get it muddy. Especially if, you, if it's at a really thin trace when you go to do a hanger swirl or any swirl. It's going to swirl more, like, Quickly, it's going to swirl a lot more when it's more fluid. If you got a little thicker batter, you might get a little bit thicker, wispy swirls. People ask me if I have a, a pattern of the way I do uh, my swirling. I do not. I just stick the thing in there and go to town for however long I feel like. I have to stop myself, though, because it is fun. This smells so good. So this is a great Christmas fragrance if anybody's looking for one. Mistletoe and Ivy. It's from Nature's Garden. And it is wonderful. And it's soaked beautifully. No discoloration. The colors are all great. I think I mentioned before, I will leave a link in my description for Nurture Soap. If you guys are interested in any of their micas or fragrances or molds or whatever you might like, you can... Be ha I would be happy if you use my link in the description. I get a little bit of a percentage back. That would be lovely. I think I might have already said this when I was do making the soap earlier. I can't remember if I did or not. But it smells so good. I'm sorry. I'm not getting in the Christmas spirit yet. It's, it's just not time. All the stores are playing Jingle Bells and... We wish you a Merry Christmas, and Ulta was full of all Christmas things and gifts stuff, and I'm like, it's just a little too soon. It seems like it's getting sooner every year. And I love Christmas. I love having my tree up. I love all of it. But I usually wait till like the day, the weekend after Thanksgiving. I thought that's what most people do. When do you guys put up your tree? I, I'm on Instagram, and everybody's posting pictures of their Christmas trees and their house all decorated and all that. Um, I follow this lady on Instagram, her, her place, her thing is Turtle Creek Lane. Okay. She's been featured in magazines and all that. She lives in Dallas, Texas, has a gorgeous home and she decorates her home for every single holiday. It's like the entire house inside and out gets decorated. It is like her pictures are the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. So you should look her up. I also joined her. Uh, she has a, um, what you, what, oh, an insider group on Facebook and you have to pay. It's a monthly subscription, but you get access to like, she has, um, she goes to market for her decorations. So it's stuff you can't really get like in your normal stores. She goes to like a big market and she can get cheaper prices and she offers that to us. And she has sent out an invitation to all the people in the insiders group to come to Dallas on November 22nd or 23rd, I think 23rd, to tour her home. So I always repeat that I'm coming. I guess I should look up plane tickets, but it's like I got, I would have to go by myself. Oh my gosh, that looks so pretty. I don't know, it reminds me like peacocks or I don't know what, but it's very pretty. Anyways, look her up on Instagram. You will, if you enjoy holidays and decorating for the holidays, you have to see her page. It's Turtle Creek Lane, all one word, on Instagram. Thanks guys for watching and I will see you on my next video.